Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I will be using Procreate to show you guys how to illustrate a jellyfish. It's been a while since I introduced you to how to draw illustration using Procreate. This time I'm going to give you a complete tutorial on how to draw a magnificent, mystical jellyfish. Today's focus will be on the brushes. There are so many different types of brushes. I will be using some of the unique brushes to draw this jellyfish. So if you're interested in using these brushes, I suggest you watch this video until the end. Alright, let's open Procreate. First, from the plus button, choose screen size. Once you have your canvas ready, the first thing to do is to change the background color. To do so, touch the layer icon and tap here that says background color. This way you can set the color of your choice, so grab a dark navy or dark blue color. I'll be drawing the base or the body of the jellyfish on layer 1 first and the brush I'll use is called Old Beach, which can be found in the folder of Artistic. About this brush, let me draw something here. As I draw on the canvas like this, you will have a sea surface-like or a rough surface inside the area that's drawn. I don't know how to describe it well, but it's even slightly transparent. Now I want you to look at the edges of the area I drew. They appear as a kind of outline in a darker color. When I add color, the transparent part gets blended well, and this is something I really like. So using this, I'm drawing the base of the jellyfish. Once I roughly draw it like this, I want to change the size, so click on the arrow icon on the top to make it bigger or smaller. There is a warp option at the bottom, and if you tap it, you can finally adjust the size. You can see a mesh-like line here, and as you move it here, you can alter the size freely. I'm done with the head part of the jellyfish, so next I'm going to draw the leg part. From the layer icon, from the plus button, add a new layer which is where I'm going to be drawing right now. Grab a reddish color, and for the brush, use the one called Nipula in the luminance section. This brush can be perfect when drawing space and things like that. And let me draw something here. As you can see, the color changes depending on the pen pressure. Isn't this amazing? The stronger the pen pressure, the wider it gets, and the weaker pen pressure, the more red or purple it gets. And by making use of this, I will be drawing the leg part. A tip here is not to set the brush too thick, and grab a thinner brush to kind of overglaze like this. So make sure to use a thinner brush to keep drawing the legs like this. You could also use a different color to color the legs too. Let's say I want them to be more purple in color. For instance, what I always do is to add a new layer and color with a different brush color there. As you can see, coloring using multiple colors gives it more depth. So it would be a good idea to use similar colors such as pink, blue, and purple and overglaze. After this, next, I'm going to draw patterns on the head part. So again, grab a new layer at the top and grab a dark blue color. The brush I'm going to use is called Wave, which can be found in the abstract section. With this brush also, it helps me express the object glitter. So with this Wave brush, try and draw the outline around the head part of the jellyfish like this. I'm not sure what it's called, but here I'm drawing the lines of the jellyfish head. Take your time and keep drawing as many lines as you can, as you can see. I 
As for color, if you want it to blend better with the body or the base of the jellyfish, I suggest switching a drawing mode. When doing so, tap the end button here, where it will give you many options under that, and this time use color burn or linear burn or overlay. And once that's set, it blends nicely with the base color or blue color here. So play around with the drawing mode and see which one you like. Alright, just like this, the head part is complete. When I look at the layer part right now, I see 5 layers. I created them by color. And from here, I want to work on the leg part more. I'll be drawing fine and long legs. And the brush I suggest is called Smoke. This brush can be found in the element section. As I grab this brush and draw, as you can see, it helps me draw thin and long legs. This is pretty interesting. So you could keep drawing the legs extending from the part I drew in purple. It looks nice if you draw legs in many forms or in different directions. So you can draw longer legs, shorter legs, or legs towards the right or left. Now I'm going to draw a leg that's a bit different here. Add a new layer where I'll be drawing. And the brush I suggest is called Light Pen, which can be found in the luminance section right here. This brush is perfect when drawing glorious lines. As you can see, it helps me draw smooth curved lines. which look like as if they are giving off white lights from there. So use this brush and grab an emerald green color to draw a leg from the center here. This helps the object to look a lot more like a jellyfish. You can of course use whichever color you want to use here, so it can be yellow or red, and it should look good too. So grab any color you prefer to draw. Okay, it's almost complete. I think it looks pretty good already, but adding background at last takes your drawing to the next level, so that's why I will be adding background here. Create a layer at the very bottom. This is where I'll be drawing. I want to draw and express the light, so for color, grab a lighter blue and for the brush, use soft brush that can be found in the airbrush section. This brush helps express the blurring and I use it really often. With this soft brush, start drawing in a way as if lights are coming from the upper left side. It's better to draw with a bigger brush like this. Try not to press the pen too strongly as it will affect the color too much, so make sure to draw or overglaze lightly or softly so you can express the lights really well. Once you're done with the lights coming from the upper left side, Grab a darker color for the bottom right, which will be shadow. With the light coming in from the upper left, which then sinks underwater, it gives you a sea-like looks. Adding these things at last will definitely take your drawing to the next level, so make sure to add the background. Okay, before I finish, I want to draw dots in yellow on the body here. You don't have to draw these, but I'm using nebula brush that was also used in the beginning to add some more color. Don't draw these too much though. 
but you could draw fish or something else in the center too to express your creativity. Alright, just like this, it's complete. What do you think? Let's check the layers before I end. I used many layers today, but as a basic, I have a layer for the jellyfish head at the very bottom, multiple layers for purple legs above that, a layer for blue legs, a layer for green legs, and a layer for yellow dots at the very top. Each layer has a different drawing mode. I mentioned color burn and linear burn before, but you could change it to color burn. And there are also options such as add and screen, so play around with them and see which one you want to use when drawing. Okay, that's all for today. This jellyfish I drew today in the form of Procreate data will be available in my online community called iPadMate. So if you want to know more about these layers in Procreate, please download the data and master the use of Procreate from there. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Alright, I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.